Springfield, inaccurate information given to city health officials on the location of dozens of syringes dumped downtown Thursday afternoon apparently resulted in several residents taking on the potentially hazardous cleanup themselves. Marcus Bradley, 34, said he saw a news report about the needles on Facebook and was upset that somebody would dump them on a city street. Around 8.30 p.m., he decided to go with two friends, one of whom works in the medical field, and see if they were still there. Let's just go down there and see if they have been picked up, Bradley said. Sure enough, more than four hours after WWLP reported the story, the syringes were still scattered along the side of Franklin Street near its intersection with Liberty Street. Packaging for insulin needles was included with the syringes. I was shocked, said Bradley, who lives in Indian Orchard. More than anything else, I thought that they would be gone, Bradley said he was especially concerned that children might play with the syringes, putting themselves at risk for exposure to blood-borne pathogens. Bradley documented their discovery with a video on Facebook. The three, armed with heavy gloves, a shovel and a broom, swept the syringes into a cardboard box and took them to the police station, Bradley said. Ryan Walsh, spokesman for the Springfield Police Department, could not immediately confirm whether the syringes were received by police. He said when such things are dropped off at the station, protocol is for police to contact the ambulance company Armour to handle the disposal. Bradley said he was disappointed that cooker action wasn't taken by those who first reported the needles, other passers by, the city itself and even the reporters who documented the discovery of the syringes. I feel like they could have done more, he said. It's kind of all of our responsibility as a community. The city's Commissioner of Health and Human Services, Helen Calton Harris, said Police Commissioner John Barbieri notified her of the WWLP report about 4 p.m. Thursday. The TV station stated the syringes were found at Franklin and Liberty Streets, very close to the Sobcourt apartment buildings. Calton Harris said she contacted Environmental Health Team Supervisor Steve Stathis and asked him to send a staffer, equipped with a sharps container, to safely collect the syringes. Calton Harris said Friday she was under the impression that the syringes were at Franklin Street and Saab Court, 600 feet or so away from Liberty Street. And so that's where Health Department staffer Richard Pedraza, who is trained on the safe disposal of syringes, concentrated his search. I was there within an hour of getting the call and I didn't see anything, Pedraza said Friday. I even went across the street and into the park, Pedraza said he got within 500 feet of Liberty Street, but no closer than that. He said he believed that somebody else may have picked up the syringes or that he had been given erroneous information. Calton Harris said Pedraza reported that he could not find any needles, but by that time she had gone into a meeting that lasted until about 9 p.m. When she spoke to a reporter for The Republican after the meeting, Calton Harris said she believed the problem had been dealt with hours earlier and spoke accordingly. Calton Harris said her department responded appropriately given the information it received. She said the episode raises a number of concerns, including the fact that whoever first discovered the needles saw fit to contact the media and not the city. I have some concerns about the process and I will follow up on that, she said. Calton Harris praised Bradley and his friends as being wonderful residents for performing the cleanup. She stressed, however, that residents who discover such things should contact her department at 413-788-6741. We don't want residents to put themselves at risk by picking up discarded needles, she said. Calton Harris said her staff, who have been picking up discarded syringes and needles for several years now, have the equipment and the training to do it safely.